In this example, you'll notice that on the right hand side of each panel is a green arrow. When you click on it, it takes you to the next panel and you'll also notice that the previous arrow disappears. Now there's a couple of reasons that I did that. One is I thought it would be pretty cluttered up if I had arrows on each uh, panel. And the other is if I did, then somebody could go back to one of the old ones, click on it, and then all of these panels that I just uh, showed would disappear. So if you want to find out how I did that, I'll show you. So I went into insert shape and I made a, an arrow and I changed it to have green fill and a black outline and then I edited the states. I added a new state and I made it this selected state and I changed the fill to no fill and I changed the outline to no outline so it looks like there's nothing there and then I clicked on the done editing now if you look at this arrow here it is taking you to the second panel uh, on the main slide I've just got this first panel and I've got the arrow key and on each layer I've got an additional panel. So on this main layer this is telling it to go to the second panel layer and I'm just going to add another trigger to it so I will add a new trigger changing the state of right arrow 1. I want it to go to selected when the user clicks on it. And that's how I got it to do that.